It's time for an ultimate showdown, or at least a series of showdowns. This is the team I'm rolling with. I did a practice run, and it's perfectly winnable. Cal's still holding the uh, Miracle Seed. Dory has an Advent Coin. Bully has a Pink Bow. Before I do that, though, I'm going to turn on the animations. Let's do this. Delete 4 is... Well, there's something. <laughs> Your first tussle with them will be tough. Interesting he's leaning with Psychic this time, not confused, right? Ice Beam! Ice Beam! Arctic Attack! Not quite enough for... That was a horrible misclick. At least you get to see that animation. I'm definitely gonna have to swap out and heal, which... I was planning on anyway, depending on what he sends up next. Take it. Oh yeah, by the way. I found the TM for Earthquake in Victory Road, so I've got that on now. Oh, that sucks. I have a backup. I will heal Dory now, and switch into Nova. I really should switch to Bully for Shadow Ball. Either way works. Speaking of TMs, Agamotto now has Thief. Why are you using Double Slap? You have Ice Punch, which deals a lot more damage than that would do, even after five hits. Whatever. AI's a little weird like that. Tour. All right, now Nova. Flame Wheel is a two hit, and it would have been would have been like this against Jinx as well. Nice roll. Reflect hardly matters because I'm going to be using special attacks for the rest of this battle. Cow can take Slowbro, no problem. Cutting it up. Oh, going for Curse this time. Interesting. In my practice run, it used um, Amnesia, which definitely made things slower. Nice to know this time I don't have to worry about it. That would have raised Special Defense, by the way. And now for the other Zatu, which means it's back to Dory. Psychic again? Alright. Fine with me. I still have that bitter battery in my PC. I debated about taking that out um, uh, to equip it for dealing with confusion, but... 
in the practice run, it wasn't too necessary. Body Slam has a chance of paralysis. I don't get it, but that's fine. Attack me all you like, you're just laying the inevitable. Victory is assured. This is a great way to earn money, by the way. Even if you lose, you'll just be, uh, back at the entrance where, uh, Nurse Joy is. Get a revive Metal Gear and then heal everybody. And by everyone, I mean just the top two. I bought a couple more potions, too, to, uh, have a little insurance. Okay. Not gonna make the same mistake twice. I wanna start off with Agamotto. Poison types are often associated with bugs, so let's take advantage of that. Mm, two hair. I don't think I've ever actually seen Giga Drain in this game. It looks awesome. Don't miss. Good job. Fortress is a steel type, which means time to bring in Nova. I think it's time for Metal Gear to make up for lost ground, if you can catch my drift. Defense and evasion are up, which is eh, annoying, but... It's still winnable. I guess I could have brought a dire hit for this situation. And I didn't even need it. Wait, do those exist in this game? I feel like they might have. Oh well. I want to get this level up for Nova, so... How do you deal with Venomoth? I'll fight through a confusion here. That did not pay off. One more time. Figures.
This does how much damage? I'm gonna use a four star. They are for emergencies like this. So, may as well. I didn't know if it would, uh, just supersonic again after the fact, so, you know, it was a risk I was not willing to take. Back to Dory. Ice Beam is a two-hit on Crobat. It starts. Time for another four star. That's fine. Save a floor store, instead opt for a full heal and potion combo. Making good time so far. Oh, and I want to use an Aether. These are really good to have since this is a since this is a series of battles. In the practice attempt, Bruno gave me some trouble. And yes, we do talk about Bruno. Hoo-ha! I'll use one Nightshade, maybe two. Just keep using Nightshade. I would use Fly, but him on top here has Detect. So, so I could ascend it literally any time I want, but there's a chance that, that he'll just block my next attack, which is annoying and a massive waste of time. And I don't want to do that. Or chance that, rather. So out comes the Onyx, which means it's Dory. Can't believe I got outsped by an Onyx. I know there's a bit of a level deviance, but still, that's it's a little sad.
Hitmonlee is strong, but it's a no-defense Nelly, so... This will deal a lot of damage. And that's what I like to see. If you want to use a full restore here, that'd be nice. Or, no, they're gonna save it for later. Never mind. It's funny how Hitmonchan has to uh, adjust its elbow ever so slightly after that. One more time. I'm definitely gonna need the extra stats to deal with my champ here. It can deal lots of damage if you're not careful. Like to take a little less damage, hopefully. Cross drop is high power. It's not very accurate, but it also has a high crit rate. So be careful. It only has five power points, so it's easy to keep track of. I'm gonna heal Dory just in case. Because I need an extra turn to... Well, I would like an extra turn to set up a Parish Song just in case of emergency. Fortunately, looks like Cal's doing just fine. That's a miss. Reflect goes back up. And that was the last cross job. But we're not out of the woods yet, because it still has Rock Slide. And not only can I hit for super effective damage against Dory, but also has a chance of flinching on, uh, on my slower Pokémon. Turns and victory is ours. Let's start reviving everybody. Foresight, okay. Well, that was kind of pointless, but whatever.
Okay, that should do. I'm gonna leave with Bully this time. Boy, it's pitch black in here. So here's the other type that was introduced in these games. Dark. It's immune to Psychic. So, leave those at home. Faint attack is just like swift, it always hits. Let's flip another coin here. Hmm, it's fighting fire with fire. Ooh, that's bad. One more time. Fifty fifty ain't got nothing on us, as they would say. And it's a little late in the game to be learning rage, wouldn't you say? Time to fire it up once again. Nice burn. Even nicer miss. Middle Gear, your turn. Please don't Hypnosis. Good. Curse! Curse! And you're dead. Tempted and use Thunder Punch for fun. I need the damage, so Ice Beam it is. Houndoom's a little scary, because not only is it faster than me, it can hit for neutral damage. But with the stats I have now, this is a three hit, not a two hit. Or, uh, flamethrower I meant, not surf. Should've made that a little clearer. As long as this doesn't burn or crit, I should be okay. That was a high roll. I'll go for it. Nice. The password is 9, once again.
And just like that, we defeated the Elite Four, but we're not done yet. We still have the champion to fight. Okay. Nobody fainted, right? No. Okay, then. Once you go up these stairs, it's a point of no return. This is the last fight in the Johto campaign. And it's definitely the hardest one by far. I actually meant to leave this with someone else, but I'll have to make do. Wait a second. I have an idea. I'm gonna let Lloyd go down to surf because... Because I want to set up X items on Dory. Plus, the rain will wear off soon, anyway. And now it's time to do some heavy lifting. Lance's three Dragonite each have very powerful attacks. This first one he sent out has Thunder, which will hit me for super effective damage. It won't defeat me outright, but it still hurts. Fortunately, I can fight back just as hard with a super effective Ice attack. The second Dragonite, also level 47, has Blizzard. So if you have dragons of your own, be careful. Aerodactyl is a rock type, so this could be very bad. It outspeeds me either way. Good miss. Even if something bad were to happen, I do have the max revive on reserve just in case. Didn't need it though. Level 40. Let's get hype, everybody. The third Dragonite is level 50. It knows Fire Blast and it knows Outrage. Definitely its strongest attack by far. It functions like Thrash. It will... It will attack for two or three turns consecutively, and afterwards inflict itself with confusion. It's very powerful. Watch out for it. And finally, Charizard. Like Houndoom, it hits for neutral damage. It's not as fast, though. It's still going to be a two-hit KO, because, you know, starter stats. And that was, uh, well, not a critical hit, because the X-Special gave me just the boost I needed to finish this fight.
A champion is now us. And we have conquered the Johto region. Feels good. I'm sure everyone has their own stories of, you know, climbing that ladder and, you know, all the hardships that came with it. Believe me, I've been there many times. This time was no different. It was interesting and stressful just to see how I could do it. But every time I do, it's so much fun. That's what's great about these games. No two playthroughs are ever alike. And, you know, something different happens every time. But regardless of what, of what that something is, you'll still have a story to share about it. I'm so proud of this team. Everybody chipped in. When and where they needed to most. Dory was absolutely the MVP of this of this gauntlet. But again, everyone did good. This has only been the Johto side of the game. When I start this up again, we'll be ready to tackle the uh the Kanto side. See you then.